Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. The What If promotion has been pretty disappointing. However, I am very happy to say one of the best cards we've been given is an objective card with this What If Gwendoozy. He is worthy of the Whopper button. Tell the crew to push the Whopper button. And he's got bagels. We got bagels. Whoa! I'm going to go over the best way, the fastest way, share with you some tips on how to put your team together so you can knock this challenge out. But before we begin, do what Toxic Pete says. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that ding dong bell, people. So to bring Gwendoozy into your team, you have to complete five objectives and a brand new foot friendly. So that's the only slightly disappointing thing. I wish it was a managerial masterpiece or something like that. So maybe we could combine some stuff, but EA knows what they're doing. They want to make us play and play and play. We've got like 55 objective cards to grind for right now. But the first one is called Double Trouble. Score a brace, which is two goals and two separate matches using Bundesliga players and the live foot friendly What If Classic. So I'll point this out right now. I feel like this is kind of the golden goal prevention. However, let's just try to keep this in mind. We can do everything else golden goal. So maybe what we need to do is once you are ready to play golden goal, name your team Gwendoozy GG for Gwendoozy golden goal or just call it golden goal. I don't know. So maybe that we're aware. Let's try to help everybody out. We can knock this challenge out no problem. Or maybe we play double golden goal. I don't know. We need to come up with something as a community to help us do this stuff where EA is trying to put this golden goal prevention system out there but maybe we could just say first to two wins i don't know something like that we could just make these so much easier if we helped each other out but just a thought but this one score a brace in two separate matches with bundesliga players so we know we're going to need some bundesliga players who can bang in some goals on our team Next one, Mateo and midfield scoring three separate matches using midfielders. So, for example, on my team, I've got Kenny Dalgleish, and the way I am linking him in, he is as a CM in, or before he goes into the match. I play him as a striker, but his card says CM, so that means he counts as a midfielder. Even though when I got Dalgleish from the player pick, he was a striker, I position modified him to CM, now he counts as a midfielder. So keep that in mind. Even if you've got CR7 and you've got him as a CDM, that's now a midfielder. So midfielders are left mids, right mids, cam, CM, CDMs. So if you've got someone who's a left wing, if you change them to a left mid, they now count as a midfielder. So just keep that in mind. We just need to do that in three separate matches. So just make sure one of your main goal scorers is either a left wing that's a left mid or a, a cam that gets forward, whatever. Just make sure you're scoring with one of those options in those. Aimed assistance. Assist five goals using French players in the friendly. So now we know we see another restriction. We're going to need Bundesliga players and we're going to need French players. However, notice this one says assist five goals. There's not five separate matches. So you could in theory do this in one match and then you're done with the French requirement. Fantastic five win five matches in the foot friendly. What if classic? And then Berlin Boost score in 10 separate matches using Bundesliga players. So this is our main grind right here. So the main thing you want to do every single match, make sure you're scoring with Bundesliga players. So if you're someone that loves Lone Maradona, loves Lone Mbappe, if you've got those two up top and they're banging in all your goals, then you're not clicking off anything towards this challenge. So just keep that in mind. You need to be banging in goals with Bundesliga players. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the What If Classic, what it requires. We'll take a look at the Gwendoozy card as well it's not i mean i i kind of prefer managerial masterpiece this one's kind of a different one had to make a few challenges changes to the team i wanted to use i'm not necessarily in love with this team but i didn't need to put together a team because let's take a look at this the requirements are clubs minimum 11 minimum 11 and leagues minimum three so you need at least three separate leagues and 11 clubs so i'll, I'll show you guys what i have at the moment i kind of just put this together live on stream not too long ago uh, but what you really need to do is just make sure you're using multiple teams. So I'll show you an example. For example, what I had right here, I had Alfonso Davies, I had Boateng, and I had Headliners Goretzka. That's three Bayern Munich players. I cannot use three Bayern Munich players. I can only use one. Now, the decision I made, I just recently bought Team of the Year Alfonso Davies. I'm going to put him as like a striker. I want him to be out there trying to bang in goals for me. I want to just see what he can do. I'm playing him in the midfield on my main team, but I wanted to put him out there at striker. We need Bundesliga goals, so I'm going to have that as one of my Bundesliga scoring options. And remember what you have to do for Bundesliga scoring options, that you need to score in 10 separate matches with Bundesliga players. So I've got, I'm leaning towards some Bundesliga players, some Bundesliga attackers in this squad. So we've got 
Davies. We've got Mateus Cunha. Now, another thing I want to point out, let me just show you there. If you, if you happen to complete that Cunha, that would be one strong link to Guendouzi. So if you've got, if you got, if you'd like completing player objectives like I do, you probably have that Cunha. Now you can also link in Guendouzi with a nice green link. And let's also take a quick look at this Guendouzi card. And also, let me explain to you a little bit about the what if cards. If you don't know, the what if cards are dynamic. Where if Hertha scores six goals in the next five matches, then this Guendouzi will go from an 87 to an 89, and I think that's when he will really shine because then his acceleration will get a 78, sprint speed will get 82, defending and physical will then be 86 and 86, and look at that passing will go to 90. So really, really strong passing for a CDM. This is a ball winner CDM. Medium. Six foot win, six foot win, six foot one, medium high. So he's just gonna, he's one you want to put on stay back, just be back there, be that presence. Three star, three star, which you know, not ideal, obviously, but for your CDM, your ball winner, that's not a problem. He's back there to win the ball, and he's got such good passing stats, he's gonna be able to make some nice passes out from the back, help link defense to attack. And sometimes, you know, countering is so OP in FIFA. If you've got a CDM, if you win the ball back back while your opponent is charging at you, you win the ball back with someone like Winduzi, he can make a pinpoint pass up to a striker. You may be in on goal and like two passes. So having a CDM that can pass makes a big difference. Good defensive awareness. The only thing I don't love about this card is the strength. However, with him being six foot one, he his body model will already be kind of big, kind of makes him feel a little bit stronger than he already is. And of course, you wish agility and balance was maybe a, a hint bit higher, but generally taller players are going to have that. It's, it's actually decent agility for a player of his height, so I don't have a super big problem with that. But this looks like a really strong card. It could be a great card for you in the midfield. Uh, French links, Bundesliga links. Bundesliga is getting a lot of really good options as we go now. But just to point out a couple things on squad building, if you have an icon, that counts as one club. So you can't have two icons. So I can't put Chavi out here. I just messed that up. I can't put uh, Chavi out here because then you can see I'm getting all these X's now that, because I've got the icon counts as one club. So you can have one icon in the team. So if you need to use that low Maradona or if you've got an icon in your club that you like using, that could be a nice option. I'm going to use Pogba for my French assist, but notice I've also got Alessandrini and I have Mendy on the bench. If I've got someone where I'm not being able to play golden goal, then I can bring Alessandrini on. I can bring Mendy on and maybe tr you know try to get those five assists taken care of. Also, Bundesliga, I'm going to go with this Rainier. This is going to be a great time to use the Rainier. I still need to get him fully complete. He needs, I think his final one is an 87. So if you've got that 87 Rainier, that's going to be a great one. He's also Dortmund. So you can have a Dortmund player and a Bayern Munich player for your Bundesliga attacking options. So that could be a very nice option. And notice one thing I could do, you know, I was talking about midfielders. You know, if Rainier scores and Alfonso Davies scores, I did not do anything for scoring with midfielders. So I need to have a game where I score with Dalgleish or if I score with Cunha. So I may even put Cunha more up top. Just try to, until I get that midfielder objective taken care of, just try to be aware of all these things. Try to get your team set up before you go into a match. It just makes life a lot easier. Now at the back, and again, just use use your best team. That's why I'm not trying to put together just one team out there. What I'm also doing is I'm trying to use some cards that maybe I haven't used before. Like I got this Pogba out of an 86 plus foot champs upgrade. Have not played one match with him. This would be a good good chance to get him going. Rainier, I have not really used a lot outside of the friendlies. I haven't played with Lucas Mora in months. I just packed this Kyle Walker again. Now, he was my right back at the beginning of the game for a long time. I haven't played with Alfonso Davies as, as, as a striker, so I'm kind of wanting to try that out. So, you know, maybe just have a little bit of fun with it, but just make sure you just need 11 separate clubs. So it's going to be a little bit hard unless you link by nations like, exclusively. It's going to be a little bit hard to get everybody on perfect 10 chem because I also, I'd rather have Sergio Ramos team of the year out there on eight chemistry than say, um, Kunde or something like that or somebody that would maybe link with Kyle Walker you know Sergio Ramos is going to be better so try to put out your best 11 try to get your chemistry at 100 that's going to be the main thing and then other than that it, it just should take care of itself but I do think I think this Guendouzi is a really strong card especially if he can get that upgrade now I think 
trying to remember. I think Hertha recently played, and I don't think they scored. They're not on a good run of form. So I'm hoping that's the only thing I'm slightly worried about. But you would think any professional football club should be able to get six goals and five matches. Hopefully they have that one game where they get like four goals or something like that. And then they can bring in two more over the next four. But I'm excited about that one. I think that's one of the best what-if cards out of a disappointing promotion. But this is going to wrap it up for now, boys. Thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe down below. Check the description. Join my Discord server. Follow me on Twitter. But I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.